In last two years, 4 lakh IT employees were laid off by different companies across the globe. This layoff had a major impact on every job role. But did you know which job role was impacted severely? The answer is software developers. According to an Economics Time report, out of those 4 lakh people, 22.8% were software developers. This explains the fact that today, specializing in one discipline is not good enough. To sustain, you need to become more generalized. You know, while software developers started losing jobs, DevOps started becoming more prominent. Today, 47% of companies are already putting it to use. Basically, it's all about the skills that lets developer master the operation as well. And since these professionals can manage and do any kind of work in product development life cycle, that makes them completely future-proof. Due to this sudden increase in demand of DevOps, many developers are going for DevOps certifications. Thus, there are an immense amount of courses and certification programs available on the internet. But how can you decide which program is right for you when you have too many options to look at? Well, the answer is the course syllabus. By comparing the course syllabus with the industry requirements, you can choose the right program for yourself. And to help you do that, today we are going to help you with the ideal DevOps course syllabus, which is designed by our top industry expert working in companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and faculties from top IITs. So without wasting any further time, let's begin our discussion about DevOps course syllabus. So generally, if you are a beginner, any DevOps course program must start by clearing the fundamentals of cloud infrastructure and how the journey of DevOps begin from need for efficient collaboration between development and operation teams. Here, the course will also cover an introduction to DevOps, DevOps lifecycle and DevOps tool. Additionally, you will also explore version control system like Git. Once you understand the basics of DevOps, the course should ideally introduce you to popular DevOps tools and practices. This includes containerization using Docker. Basically, containerization allows you to package application and their dependencies into lightweight portable containers using a tool called Docker. After completing that, the course should have configuration management using tools like Puppet and Ansible. Then you will learn the process of maintaining system such as computer hardware and software in a design state. Once done with that, next topic should be continuous testing. Here you will learn how to work with Selenium and this will help you learn how to set up an automatic testing process in your entire software development life cycle. Now, what next? The course should dive into a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines, which are crucial for software development. CICD pipeline involved regularly integrating code, changing into a shared repositories, enabling automatic build, testing, and deployment process. Additionally, you will also explore infrastructure automation tools such as Jenkins. Once you master this, you will be introduced to monitoring and logging tools for observability. You will learn about the tools like ELK Stacks that will help in monitoring and troubleshooting applications in production. That's not it. You still need to master DevOps practices such as infrastructure as a code, security practices, and Terraform workspaces. You will learn about performance optimization and incident management to ensure a smooth operation of software systems. By covering all these modules, you will gain an understanding of various DevOps practices and tools. By completing this DevOps course, there will be many career opportunities. Previously mentioned tools are crucial for most of the DevOps role. It is also essential to explore and understand other services and tools that are related to DevOps. I hope this video has provided you with a valuable insight to help you make an informed decision about pursuing DevOps. If you found this video informative, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Intellipath YouTube channel for more updates like this.